Welcome back, Hordlings to more Fallout 3. We are still here in the Fort Bannister bunker. I'm getting back my mines. Commanding officer's quarters. <laughs> Sewer entrance. There's actually a mag down here I'm looking for. I think it's on top of this. Problem is, is this game really fucking blows when it comes to jumping. Fucking bullshit. Ah. easier to drop down on it like this. Except that I cannot do that. There we go. That worked. A Nikola Tesla and you book. The guns and bullet book in the bunker area. I'm not too worried about that as we're not going to be using small guns. If I happen to cross it, so be it, but not going to go out of my way for that shit. Good jump, Lug Lug.
we got another crazy wild wabbity dog. He's gonna come over here and he's gonna run right by me. Yep, that must be the retarded dog that's been running around. I just want to kill you. I'm sick of fucking watching you. Die, pooch. Burned up that cooch. All right, let's see what else kind of trouble we can get into. Once I get around this fucking huge area. Holy shit, I didn't even see that motherfucker. You're gonna get it, Mr. Gutsy. Oh, I got a I got killed by a fucking mole rat. You gotta watch out for mole rats, apparently. But not really, it's those plasma shooting cocksuckers. Nice, uh, you old guile. You don't mind if I rob your master, right? Because I'm going to. If you fuck with me, I'm going to fuck you up. Probably put it out of its misery. By cutting off a fucking limb! They got murdered by these cocksuckers. Looks like they did some damage, though. I'm trying to go fucking south. I'm trying to go this way. You're fucking with my marker. This 
doesn't even make a lick of sense why it's making me go there. Alright, let's see. Four banisters here. That means I'll actually want to go here. And I'm heading southwest. Fuck you. Yummy! Dog meat tastes good! Nikola Tesla! Tesla, lick my balls! Shit. I don't think I want to dive in there. Remember, we are heading to uh, the vault, 112, eventually. We're slowly making our way down there. I'm not going to show every location in the game, but I will try to show most of them. I may end up showing every location, who knows? In fact, I think I said I would show every location, so maybe I fucking will. At least 99%. Definitely getting all the bobbleheads and... Of course. Why did I bother trying to sneak up on you with my 60 sneak? Because in broad daylight it doesn't do shit. Fuck. Fucking later. Cut that dude's head clean off. Alright, so we got a dog picking on a, a Brahmin out there. We obviously have some raiders down here guarding this house, so let's go kill them and take their shit. Frag grenade. Thirty eight. Shit, that works for me. Bounced right off the tree. Fifty nine, let's even get one in the house. Fifty 
Fucking killed somebody. I don't know how I got him, but... Oh, you got fucked up, son! Yeah, I figured you'd come running up here with your dumbass combat knife. Now get fucked up. You're dead. Dead. Don't kill you can't mess with a shish kebab pyromaniac. The Charnel House. Everyone needs a leaf blower. Always take the motorcycle gas tank and the handbrake. That's how we're going to make more shish kebabs. We can make our V2, I believe, actually. I will go do that soon. boxes. I don't want to be too good at lock picking, like when I actually do the the sequence of it, just because it's lug lug, you know. Even at a hundred he's still gonna fuck shit up. Ooh, manual, duck and cover, me likey. Apparently there's another book out here by a drainage chamber. I'm just not exactly sure where that's at.
it was a scuffle. Where the fuck did you come from? You big bastard! Alright, that's it. Now you piss me off. Let's go build us a V2 shish kebab. And let's talk to Doc about getting some healing. And let's sell shit. Megaton is such a beautiful little city. Can't wait to blow it the fuck up. Fiddle with any interesting technology? Of course, if you played around with... Unless it's... Oh, let's see here. He can have that and that and that and all this shit. We'll keep our alien blaster cells. I think that counts as an energy weapon, technically, but I do look at it like a small gun. Plenty of tanks and handbrakes, you can see I've been picking them up. Can probably make. I don't care, that works. Good hunting. Take all your money. Alright, that's that was V2, right? Maybe they're all considered V2. Because I got the schematics twice, remember? Not really letting me pick a V2, so I'm assuming. Pressure cooker? That ain't bad, I can find that. Okay, well apparently these are the same. But I'll take 46 damage. It's going to do a lot if we can actually get it repaired all the way up. That's about half the amount of damage that a missile launch does. I 
Bottle cap mines. Those will fuck things up. We love having bottle cap mines. Talk to Dr. Dickweed here and get healed. For Christ's sake. I'm surprised. Oh. Here. Hold this end for me. Okay. Now give it Don't back. Don't look ready to go. Leave me alone, asshole. All right. That You done? Good. I'll trade ammo for health any day. For the mayor or the sheriff. if you try to leave through the correct to area. Power. You're looking for the mayor or the sheriff? What brings you back to Megaton? I don't know. Wanna fuck? This place is a ghetto. I gotta re-equip my shish kebab because I repaired it and it swapped him on me. That's never a good sign. Some brotherhood over here. Which for now they are on our side, or at least they're neutral. Oh. Holy fucking balls, man. Some dickhead shooting mini nukes. I just paid to get healed. Get the fuck out of here with those things. Only I'm allowed to shoot fat men. I will shoot fat men all day long. That was probably some scripted bullshit. Bingo! Remember, I need a pressure cooker. Vision batteries weigh 10? Fuck that. I'll keep one. I'm really stoked this isn't stealing. They really don't have to fight a couple brotherhood. Great. 
hear some of the local wild. Why don't you go bother the Brotherhood or something? Oh, this is a random renegade Brotherhood dude walking around with his robo brain. He's an outcast. Fuck that robot up. Welcome to Smith Casey's Garage! <laughs> Punk ass mole rats. See the book, give it to me, bitch. That battery weighs 10 pounds. Are you fucking shitting me? We'll definitely take the tumblers today. Find a motorcycle tank or two in here. Come on, motherfucker.
to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Whoops. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please find the nearest Tranquility Lounger and be seated. Okay, well let's not go downstairs yet. I don't know how I feel about putting on a shitty Vault 112 suit. Looks like that's the only place to go. Hello, sir. Please find the nearest Tranquility Lounger and be seated. I think I'll just skip that switch in the uniform part. Holy shit! Dude is chilling. Oh, I guess I have to get this lounger, huh? This shit is creepy! Oh no! I remember this part of the game. It kinda sucks. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Fuck Betty. No, seriously, I'm gonna fuck Betty. Betty! Betty! Lug Lug here, wanna fuck? Oh, someone new to play with. I got what something for I you to play lately? with, bitch! I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? I do, I wanna play Doctor! I knew you would! It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. That's it? I can do that. You can? I guess we'll see. Huh. Good luck. Where's little dickhead Timmy?
Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Hey, I heard your parents are getting a divorce because of you. You're a big, dumb liar. Hi, Pat. What's going on? Hi, wanna play? None of this is real. It's all some crazy experiment. What? You're weird. Betty says I should make you cry. What? No, she didn't. Did she? I don't like her. She's creepy. And she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. Bye, Timmy. See you later. I was thinking of having a cookout soon, since the weather has been so wonderful. Stop! No! Quit it! Haha, <laughs> what a fucking pussy! You sure showed him, didn't you? I suppose it wasn't the most cerebral way to deal with the situation, but it was definitely effective. Consider the game won. And with that, you win a prize. Your prize is one question which I will answer to the best of my ability. Why does a six-year-old twat sound like my grandma? And who the fuck are you? I was known as Dr. Stanislav Braun. But here, I choose this identity. I know a Dr. Stanislav. He unsettling? lives in Russia. In this place, and I can the devil. choose to be whatever I wish. And this is what I have chosen. You will find that I control a great deal around here. Why in the hell would you want to look like a little twat? Why not? I've been in this place for 200 years. This is something to keep me amused. Much like my willingness to entertain your questions. Though now I grow bored. So I think I shall set you to a new task. I'm not doing shit for you. Then once again we find ourselves at an impasse. How disappointing. God Are damn it! Will Fine, I'll do it! I'm glad you've chosen to- Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage, and we'll talk. No problem! Excellent. I so enjoy that can-do spirit. This guy just wants me to cause drama. Break them up without killing them. Well, hi there. I hate to break it to you, but I saw your husband kissing some other hooker. What a horrible thing to say. Is that your idea of a joke? Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Our marriage? Well, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. What can you tell me about this hood? Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. We're doing quite well. Take care. Good day. What can I do for you, sport? And you are? George Nussbaum. Proud resident of Tranquility Lane. Good to meet you, sport. Can you tell me anything about the Rockwell's marriage? Their marriage? Why, that's an odd sort of question. They're like anyone else, I suppose. Got their problems, but they work through them. Janet's a good woman. It's a good thing that Roger came to his senses. Hey there, sport. How's it going? What can you tell me about your marriage, shithead? Now see here. That's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. 
Why can't people just understand that and just leave us alone? You won't find a day like this anywhere else. Not because it's a simulation, dipshit! Sure, sport. Whatever you say. <laughs> Have you seen my dad? He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. I'm gonna go look in the basement. There's always dirty shit down in the basement. where you're going you you don't belong here you're not supposed to be here it's not real none of it it needs to end the suffering must end finally someone who knows what the fuck is going on how do I get out of here we're not really here we're not really talking it's all made up make-believe we're sleeping dreaming the dream became a nightmare it has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. Who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. What failsafe? What the hell are you talking about? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. It's kind of funny you being stuck here forever. Fucking death said there's nothing here at this time. Oh shit, we got a pimp fucking watch. Cool little touch they did there. You, you can find it. You're not supposed to be here. He can't stop you. I just don't know what to do anymore. When Roger's not in the stupid basement, he's outside sweet-talking the hussy Martha Simpson. He claims there's nothing between him, but I know it's all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once in Roger's workbench, but of course I've said nothing. That's me, Janet Rockwell, prim and proper housewife, living a perfect life here on Tranquility Lane. Some days I really wish I'd beat her to death with that rolling pin. Then Roger would know I'm the only girl in the world. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Hello! Hello. Good day to you. Let's find this Martha bitch. Hello. Not real. Not real. Good day. Well, hi there. What can you tell me about the Rockwell's marriage? Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage anyway? Okay, if you say so. People around here should mind their own business. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time, and, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice.
I know I can find some dirt on this hoe. Hi, Martha. Oh, Mabel, did you want to look for a new robot? I know you're not comfortable with yours. I don't want a new one. I don't even really want the one I have now. I don't trust it, Martha. Not a bit. You know, there's uh, lacy underwear. Right? Now we're getting somewhere. It's perfectly safe. They build them so they won't ever hurt their owners. Time to plant Just some shit. I don't trust it. I swear. This is gonna be too easy. All right, we've stashed the underwear in the desk. Time to tell the wifey. Is that hoe in the kitchen where she should be? I'm so proud of her. Bet you are sitting down on the job. Good day to you. You better come down to the basement. There's something you need what to see. What you in our basement? What's down there? Just trust me. Okay, if you say so. What's this? Women's clothing? Down here? What? What the hell is this? Looks like Roger's a fan of women's clothing. But this isn't mine. What is this doing here? I guess he's cheating on you. My God. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> this is going to be good. Ro That's it? She called him a son of a bitch? That's it? How did it come to this? I just don't understand. You need to move out, asshole! You're no longer welcome here in simulation land! The fuck? Take a hike, mutt. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. I've got to admit, it's kind of fun. What can I do next? I am pleased to see I'm not the only one being entertained. You are far more agreeable than your father. If you He's wish a bitch. for more, then so be it. But let's raise the stakes a bit this time. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. But do be creative about it. Beating her to death just won't suffice. Put some effort into it. She'll never see it coming. Music to my ears. Henderson Estate is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. You fiddle with the pilot light and the gas pipe. The smell of gas fills the air. You must be bloody stupid if you can't hide from me. <coughs> and who gets to clean up all this blood? Me, that's who. Fuck 
with this robot! I guess it was nothing. The fuck is he even talking? Bitch, you need to be in the house. Well, hi there. Roger and I don't spend much time with Mabel, frankly. She's a little nosy for my tastes. And I don't like visiting her house either. That robot she's got makes me nervous. She says it's perfectly safe, but something about it, it just makes me uncomfortable. Well, hi there. Hopefully this hooker goes back home. Good day. I guess it was nothing. It's coming for you! Oh, Did you hear me coming? I have after to all. fight you! What a fantastic! This is hopeless! Have at thee! I thought there was gas in here! I guess it was nothing. This is dumb. Good day to you. I heard you bake really tasty pies. Can you make one for me? Well, sure I can, sweetie. Let me just go light the oven to get it warming up. Fantastic! I'll watch from over here! Ah! Oh, shit! Betty! Oh, Mabel. Appliances certainly can be dangerous, can't they? You are most resourceful. 
and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now, we come to the last tasks that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. I can't wait! What do you want me to do? Your enthusiasm is inspiring. It's a shame you didn't arrive earlier. Now, you will become the pint-sized slasher and kill everyone in Tranquility Lane. Behind the abandoned house, there is a doghouse. Inside that doghouse are the knife and the mask you will take up. Sounds like fun! Who the hell's a pint-sized slasher? He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, return to me. Sounds like fun! I thought you might find it amusing. It draws upon an old urban legend. The residents have all... Okay! Already said that, dickhead. Time to kill bitches! The pint size slash! Oh. Someone help me! No one can help you, hooker! But you can't hide. No. No. You guys think my karma will be low enough after this? Fuck you, Doc! No! No! Please leave me alone! The pine side Whoa. slasher! Someone help me! Fucking bitch, get down here! Fucking murdering everybody. A 
commendable start. Commendable start? Everyone's dead, bitch. Where's little turd Timmy? They do take him out of the fucking game so you didn't have to murder a little kid? That'd be pretty gay. I guess I'll just use my cheat arrow. But you can't hide, bitch! Ah! Commendable start. There was one hooker left, you little fucking twat. Well done, well done. You can't do that here. And now you have to pay. Holy shit, what the fuck, bitch? Most enjoyable. Most enjoyable indeed. I haven't felt this exhilarated in years. Sure was fun! I had the distinct impression you enjoyed yourself. We are like you and I. Now, you asked for the means to leave Tranquility Lane, and so I grant it to you. The door is open. You are, of course, welcome to stay a bit longer if you like. I'm good on that. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? What are you doing here, dumbass? You could have been killed. Well, I didn't expect Dr. Braun to be alive and insane. I thought I'd just find notes or holotapes. I needed information about Braun and his work on the Gek. Did you get what you needed? I did indeed. Braun's work, the Gek, was designed to readapt environments for living after a nuclear war. It's not entirely stable, but I'm sure the components of that technology are just what we need. What we've been missing all this time. I need to return to Rivet City. Once Madison knows about the Gek, I can get her to see that it really will work. What about me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Yes, what about you? Why in fact are you outside the vault at all? I don't even want to know how you got out. As much as I appreciate your help, you were supposed to stay there. To make a life for yourself there, not out here. You left me there without saying goodbye. What was I supposed to do? Fuck that vault. I don't need that place. Is that so? You're 19 years old. Are you so sure you know what you want from life already? I, I want to be a serial killer. Now. I suspect there's no going back for either of us. We'll just have to forge on ahead, won't we? It's a good thing all the schools in this game are empty. I have other shit to take care of, but, mm, okay, let's go to Rivet City. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Thanks for the XP! Can we talk for a minute? So. What's in your mind? How could you leave me like that? What the fuck were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. 
A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Why would you put yourself at risk like this? Is this about mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened to her? Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. Forget it. I hope that you can understand why I've done the things that I've done. Shut the fuck up. What exactly is Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Yeah, it was Free, stupid as shit. For everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. Huh? We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. What happened to it? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her. And I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City. And Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. How'd Mom really die? I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. What's the big deal about water anyways? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. I'll probably meet over with you there later. I'm sorry to hear that. I yeah, yeah. Fuck out of here, pussy. So that's pretty much all there is to do here in the vault is just catch up with pops. Calling ass. Hello, son. Oh, you fucking asshole.
You fucked that scorpion up, Dad. Good job. Holy shit! Way to bust a few caps after it's dead! Alright, Dad! I'm gonna watch you run off into the sunset! See you next time! Bye! Oh shit, Dad's gonna kill everything on the way, fuck! He's pissy! Better help him out. Okay, bye, Dad. Gonna watch you run off into the sunset now. Don't shoot at anything. See you next time, folks, with more Fallout 3. Thanks for watching.